What's up, boys? Today we're gonna be uh, doing a little simple video, nothing too crazy. Just want to give some people who are thinking about tuning their Genesis Coupe, uh, kind of like a daily POV, problems that they may run into or adjustments they may have to make after tuning their Genesis Coupe. You know. Um, so yeah, let's get it started. No better way to start a video off than a cold start. sure it's a bit loud right now not too loud but y'all can hear me that's just with my door open if y'all want to hear how I idles with my door closed don't mind the bags you can hear them but um yeah close starts pretty calm speaking about cold start as y'all can see right there my uh, thermostat, my temperature right there, is super cold. And now uh, the reason being is, if you guys remember, free a uh, free a few videos. Sorry, tongue twisted. I don't know why, but a few videos ago, maybe like five videos ago, uh, I had blown my coolant hose. Uh, I had like a few races back to back, and I don't know if that's what blew it, or maybe it's the pops and bangs, or maybe it was just time for a new coolant hose. Whatever it was. Um, I had blown it, so I decided to replace it. And then when I went to replace the thermostat, I asked my tuner. He said OEM. Well, one of the tuners from Alpha Speed said OEM. My actual tuner, um, I don't remember if he said OEM or, or Mishimoto Low Temp. But then my shop that I go to was like, nah, I think you should go Low Temp because, you know, it gets hot and whatnot in Florida. So that would help you in the summer days to keep your car cool. That way you're... This car's not suffocating because it is a turbo car, so it's not suffocating. So, like, okay, let's go with low temp thermostat. Now, only downsides about low temp thermostat is your stock one opens up at, I believe, 200, 205, or 215, and your O, and then your the low temp Mishimoto one opens at 155. So, I believe my numbers are right, yeah, something like that. So, it runs way colder than it used to, which means longer waiting startup time which means when you start it up you gotta like let it warm up for like a minute like le legit which okay a minute's nothing but sometimes you don't have that type of time you know what i mean and unfortunately this car does not have a remote start so you do have to go manually start the car up and you know you're still getting ready and whatnot but that's one downside the next downside is since the car was tuned before the thermostat it doesn't know that it's supposed to be that cold and my tuner is being kind of iffy on it and i'm trying to figure out if he can get it tuned or not or if i have to go to another tuner just to adjust that because i want to i don't want to get check engines when my car is too cold so basically if, if i was to like leave right now and then like give it any type of gas it's gonna throw a check engine because it's gonna be too cold i've i've gotten the code i've diagnosed it i have a computer that you can diagnose it on and that was the code and also if you do pops and bangs if the car is not almost fully warmed up which it doesn't get fully warmed up but it gets like to the third bar um that's fully warmed up for it basically now if you do anything earlier than that then your car will throw a check engine light last thing that i would say that is my biggest complaint is literally if i turn off the car for like an hour start it back up it'll be cold again but at the same time i think maybe that helps me gain performance i'm not 100 percent sure don't quote me on it i really don't know all i know is if you're gonna go low temp thermostat and your city or state is not consistently hot you're gonna screw your car up. so make sure that where you live doesn't get cold or doesn't freeze over doesn't snow because i don't know how long this car would take to warm up if it was cold outside with you know the low temp thermostat i just got done with my cut um, damn, just sounds pretty goddamn good. Sounds pretty good. Second thing I gotta say about driving a Genesis Coupe that's tuned daily is your gas mileage is horrid. When I first got this car, I used to get. When I first got this car, before I even went catless downpipe or nothing, I'm a little soupy, but I was getting 
320, 330 off of Philip, um, which is car takes 93 and it takes like 14 gallons. So it comes about to like over here around like 60. My first Philip was like $72, which was insane. But like normally it's like $63. Um, but yeah, I used to get like 23 to 25 miles per gallon and that was before I had an exhaust or anything. Then when I went callous downpipe with an exhaust, I was down to like 315, 320. Um, I was always driving the car a little harder. And then when I went tuned, it went all the way down to 280, like in the first month, cause I was doing pops and bangs like every other day. So I understand it's dumping fuel consistently. But then after that, it's just gone down since then. Um, my last fill up, it said my gas, what is this bug that's flying around? It said my gas mileage or like the amount I'm gonna get is 255, which is pretty insane for a four cylinder. That's only making like 300 something at most. We're talking at most horsepower. So I say that's pretty crazy. That's the only downside I say about getting tuned is your gas mileage is about to go to basically be non-existent you're getting like 17 miles 18 miles to the gallon on a freaking four cylinder basically driving a v8 almost at that point because i know like bmws like m4s m3s m340i's like those new ones bro getting like 25 miles to the gallon if not more making 600 wheel like that's that's pretty insane but um yeah i'd say that's just one of the downsides but you know with getting tuned, you get pops and bangs, you get higher performance, and you hear that turbo spiel like a lot quicker. See, as you guys just heard, the car's a lot quicker as well. Cut up is better, everything's better. Everything's better. Um, you know, let me pick this vlog back up though when I get closer to the crib. What's up, boys? Been a couple days. Um, sorry, been busy, busy with life. But um, just wanted to say, I mean, overall, driving a daily tune Genesis Coupe is super fun. You know, you get cool turbo Next nases, left. Turn left. pops and bangs, all that good stuff. Uh, good stuff. Sorry, but. The only downside is the gas mileage and I mean nothing else really. You're gonna be putting wear and tear a little more excessive wear and tear on the car. That, that, the that's light. it. Turn left onto Greenwald Way North. But then turn right. That's that's really about it. Three miles. Turn right onto Menta Street. But as you could see, the car moved way faster than it would stock, right? So, I mean, you know, it's got its pros and cons, but as you see, my gas mod is going down. I don't know if it's focusing or not. Gas mod, yeah. So, that's about it. But overall, I love it. I wouldn't I wouldn't say don't get it tuned. I think you should get it tuned. I think you should get every car tuned just to get its full capabilities. Because from stock, it doesn't do it justice. Pedal commander bull, bull crap, like, I'm not running with that. Just get it tuned. Spend the bread. Get it tuned. Get tuned by Alpha Speed if you have a Genesis Coupe. That's the only tuner I recommend. And yeah, you're gonna enjoy the car. It's gonna feel like a whole new. It's gonna feel like a whole new car. It's gonna sound like a whole new car. Make sure you have at least a downpipe. Uh, don't just tune it um, with just an intake or something. They're gonna tell you you need you need exhaust and downpipe. You need to be full bolt on to get a go tune and custom tune. Maybe for a show tune, you don't need anything but a muffler delete or something because that's just pops and bangs. But if you want any type of performance, you're gonna need uh, to be full bolt on. And I definitely recommend it. Oh, is that a G82 right there? I think. G80? I think so. Should we get a quick little run-in? This Q60 was actually just trying to get a run-in, but like when I when I when I freaking like rev for the smoke, he, he didn't I don't know. He he slowed down. Like he was I could tell he wanted to run. And then he just kinda slowed down and he kinda backed out. But I'm gonna end this with a quick little Oh, he's going left, man, that sucks. I wanted to end this with a quick little run with a G80. That would have been so dope. I mean, I'm getting gapped by like a million cars, but you know, y'all get the point. Hope y'all boys enjoyed this one. Overall, get your Jenny tuned. Get whatever car you have tuned. 
don't be uh you know a little sherman don't get it tuned and just leave it stock that's sherman as hell bro enjoy the car that's what cars are made for it's not just a daily it's it's a daily driver but it's also an enjoyable daily so yeah boys appreciate y'all for tuning in i'm gonna keep bringing uh as many bangers as i can and yeah hope y'all enjoy safety